League of Legends is notorious for its rank ladder, with the majority of the player base having developed some very strong emotions regarding it. Unlike some other competitive gaming genres, League of Legends is a special breed of frustrating because of its seemingly infinite game universe. When I started playing Cyberpunk, I loved every single second of it, but I finished the game after like 40 to 45 hours. I even invested some time into getting into some of the alternative endings before I decided to call it quits, in part from the game with fond memories. But I've been playing this dumbass game for more than 12 years now, easily with 10,000 hours playing it and another five to seven thousand hours consuming content relating to it and i'm still nowhere close to completing the game so in today's video we'll discuss why this quote-unquote infinite game of league of legends and the fact that it doesn't really have an end stage makes it much more addicting than the single player games like cyberpunk and what steps we can take to rein ourselves in and not get carried away by it if you guys are new here my name is rabies and i make videos i wish i would have seen when i first started out in gaming whether it's trying to get better or trying to break out of your addictions like and subscribe for more no bs tips league can be frustrating because of its extremely high burden of knowledge. With new champions being added to the roster that's already spanning 160 champions, system reworks every other month, not to mention the constant stream of changes that may or may not just randomly break the game, it can be very hard to keep up with. The burden of knowledge is one of the primary reasons why people either have a laundry list of gripes with the game or simply just bounce off of it completely. However, that doesn't stop millions of people from around the world from grinding the ladder, spending a lot of time thinking, playing, and stressing about the game. Despite its very high barrier of entry and inherent difficulty, tens of millions of people are queuing up to ranked and even norms every single day. So you have to ask yourself, why is that? Now, to understand why the frustrating difficulty of this game makes it so addicting, you have to put yourself in the mind of Riot Games first. As a business, it's within their best interest to ensure that you're playing this game for as long as possible. The more time you spend playing, the more of a chance you have of purchasing anything from their shop. Now, with this in mind, let's take a look at single player games like Black with Wukong, for example. The game has had a lot of hype and for good reason, it's a tremendous game, but play rates have already started dropping off significantly after the first few weeks. And the reason for that is simple, guys. People are finishing the game and they don't have much else to do with it anymore. This is often the case with many single player games like Wukong or Cyberpunk. Once you do the main story and try out a bit of the alternative endings, the game just sort of becomes meh. It's not that you hate the game or suddenly think it's shit now, but you aren't getting the same hit of escapism as you used to when you first started out playing the game. This is where League's high barrier of learning and execution comes in. The game is infinite, because unless you're the world's finals MVP or some shit, there's always another concept you can master, there's always another champion you can learn, there's always another rank you can climb to. Essentially, Riot has created a game with infinite levels. Most of League's difficulty comes from the fact that there's simply too much to learn all at once and players get overwhelmed by how much work they must do in order to keep climbing. In this way, there's no such thing as completing League of Legends. Unless you're obnoxiously talented, there's no winning final MVP in a domestic league, let alone in a prestigious international tournament. Think about it this way guys, there's a hundred million players playing the game and out of them there's only been like 20 finals MVPs of international tournaments, meaning that you have a 0.000002% chance of quote unquote completing the game. Since there's no end in sight, people are free to sink as much time as they want to improve because no matter how much they improve, they'll never come close to finishing the game. When they give themselves this permission to grind endlessly, especially since the vast majority do so without a concrete plan, they end up wasting hundreds of hours into the game and are very susceptible to winning or losing streaks within their journey, which tilts them even further and forces them to play even more games, repeating in a vicious cycle. So what can we do to combat this urge to sink away hours of our lives in an infinite game like League? First and foremost, you have to set a specific allotted time to play League. I've already delved into this deeper with my climbing content, but stuff like playing in blocks or setting aside time at the end of the day are all good examples of this. The reason why time blocking is so important should be obvious to you by now. Theoretically, and quite literally in some cases, people can spend their entire day just spamming games thinking that they're getting better. However, for anyone that's played League even a little bit knows that this is not the case. The game is already stressful and difficult. There's only so much you can get out of playing it before you're simply too tired and or too tilted to get anything from the experience or the time that you put in. Setting a lot of time slots for League is good because it prevents you from falling into that infinite game addiction trap that Riot designed by forcefully cutting off the time that you interface with the game. Yes, we know that technically we can keep playing this game forever and still find new things to improve on day by day, but doing so would mean forfeiting our lives altogether completely. As for me personally, I don't play League until the 
afternoons on weekends. It's been helping me hit my productivity numbers for stuff like going to the gym, cleaning my room, or simply making these videos for you guys. By delaying the time I eventually interface with the Infinite game, I've been able to carve out some time into my schedule to hit my priorities. Because remember guys, League of Legends inherently wants to give you permission to spend all day and night playing the game because there's no end in sight. You can't change the fact that there isn't an end in sight. All you can do is acknowledge that and come to terms with the fact that you will never get to see that end, which frees up your time to enjoy the game thoroughly and not get addicted to it. That's it for me in this video, guys. Hopefully now you guys have a better idea on how to deal with your League of Legends addiction when it comes to spamming too many games and getting caught up playing hours and hours a day only to end up right exactly where you started. I'll leave two videos here where I delve into the topic of intensity, which is one of the fundamental ways that you can help reduce the time that you spend playing the game and still achieve massive LP gains. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.